it. Wow. Do you like it spicy? Not very spicy, but very spicy. Salud. Salud. Yeah, salud. Enjoy the go. A bit more NC sauce. NC sauce. <laughs> <laughs> this is game day gourmet. Now, when you need a change from the same old match day pie or the match day pint, and you're looking for something with a little bit more flavor, a little bit more culture and vibe, that's where we come in. We're going to be heading to stadiums up and down the country to give the fans a little bit of a taste of the high life. Brighton, home of the Palace Pier, the Lanes and the Royal Pavilion. And I'm here to explore a food scene that's as vibrant as the people that live here. So for my first spot, I'm hitting up a place that has been serving incredible smoked fish for over 35 years. Normally I like to meet the owner of the establishment, but today I'm meeting a fan that's a little bit more special. So Betty is the shop dog, smoothes with the customers just in case she gets a treat or a little bit of mackerel. She loves a bit of smoked mackerel special. It says it all really, it's pretty special. We start off with a ciabatta roll. Yeah. So we have a whole fillet. Oh, I love it. Just a nice spread of butter, evenly. Horse radish. Oh, Horse yeah. Horse radish and oily fish. We know this. Straight onto there. It's like perfect. It's like oh, symmetry. Goodness. A little bit of rocket. Fresh lemon. No. Fresh lemon. Yes. And then we just cut through, open it up, and that's what you're looking at. That is wonderful. That is amazing. Cheers, Cheers chef. Pal. Cheers. Wow. 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 That is incredible. I need another bite. I'm going in. Well, what do you usually eat on a match day? We get this sausage roll, which is 18 inches long. <laughs> it's delicious, yeah? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. He, he's nodding his head straight away. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of being on holiday. Yes. If you could compare this sandwich to a Brighton player, who would it be and why? I'll say Julio and Ciso. Okay, talk to me. Because of the flair. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. You never know if he's going to shoot from 40 yards, you don't know if he's going to, you know, take his man on. And this is exactly what I'm feeling with this sandwich. Yeah, it's beautiful. I feel like there's a connection between you two. I feel like I'm interrupting yeah, something yeah, special yeah. You here. You might want to leave us, actually. I'm just going to leave you to finish this sandwich. Beautiful. I'll Thank see you later. Lovely take care, mate. You, just, you, you just crack on. I'll be, I'll be right back. Now it's time. <laughs> Now for my next spot, it's all about open fire cooking, local produce and serious flavour. The smoke or the fire is, is the secret ingredient. It's a jerk chicken, which works really well with the smokiness. Then some little pineapple salad to give it some freshness. Just finish it with a bit of coriander. Wow. Oh my God, that is perfectly cooked, juicy. So this is a kimchi barbecue cauliflower, which we cook over wood, and then it's a burnt spring onion emulsion. So and I think vegetables are great as well. And if you give them as a little bit of love and nurture, they can be as tasty as, as anything. Mm. Brighton is known for having an incredible plant-based food scene. If every vegetable was given this much attention, we'd all be eating vegetables, man. Mm. Oh my God. Well, listen, we've got some smoked jerk chicken and then I've got a little bit of pineapple ketchup here as well. Pineapple ketchup? Listen, this is game day gourmet. We do things a bit differently here. Big bite, don't be shy. That good. <laughs> that really good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If this piece of chicken here was a player, who would it be and why? Maybe Ferguson. Ferguson. He's a good player, he's a good chicken. Oh, listen, listen. <laughs> Sara answer, keeps yeah. it simple. <laughs> Taking a little break from the old chicken, yeah. I've got a bit of cauliflower here. Yeah, I'm not a big cauliflower man personally. Really? No, not really. Well, listen, let's see if we can change that. I'm, I'm saying all in one. Nah, bro, not all. Nah, one. all in one. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, come yeah, on. No, stop. <laughs> yeah? That good. Yeah? Oh, he's going in again. If this cauliflower here was a player, who would it be and why? Tell you what, Luke shout Billy Gilmore. Billy Gilmore? Good. When I saw him at Chelsea, I thought, good player. It's just cauliflower, isn't it? It's just cauliflower. Yeah. And then you add it, you get him here, add a little bit more, he's a player. Oh, that is class. Easy. That is class. Um, that is class. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. I love that. 
Now, behind me is the open market. And in here, I've heard there is one of the most authentic Mexican restaurants, not just in Brighton, but in the entire country. <sighs> Let's go. This is where the magic happens. That means all the magic happened here. That means what we try to do here is to mirror the menu for vegetarians and non-vegetarians. It's still we have in the cochinita with the pork. For you, what we're gonna do is to bring you that beautiful flavors and everything with the vegan options. And we're gonna do it with oyster mushrooms to give you that meaty flavor and you're gonna enjoy it. Now, you like spicy or you don't like spicy? <laughs> I like it spicy. You like it spicy. Yeah. Lovely. That means we're gonna give you some hot sauce. That's beautiful. And please enjoy that. There we go. Mm. Wow. That. Wow. That's what I like to see. <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> I'm feeling like. I'm feeling, you know, like Viva La Raza, you know? <laughs> Viva La Raza. That's what I'm feeling right now. Spicy or you don't like it spicy? I like it spicy. You like it spicy. You love it. Do you like it spicy? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna go for a little bit. How's oh, that? More than that. Yeah. More than that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. all right. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Mm. The spiciness. Yeah. Mm. If this was a Brighton player, who would it be and why? Who would Pedro. It be? Pedro? Yeah, because he's from Latin America. Yeah, and, and he's... they would like this. Oh, I Mex love it. Mexico is quite near to their place. I love it, yeah. I love it, I love it. You're a man of culture, I like it. <laughs> You're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah.